<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 44. Today is the 27th of April, 2023. And um, today we're going to go back to dimensional healing. We, we talked about a few different layers of energies uh, two weeks ago. So we're going to give a, a, a do a short review of those. And then continue on to talk more about dimensional healing, how to use dimensional energy for healing. But before we get to that, let's do a um, a presence meditation so that we can all come back to ourselves and so that we can pay attention. So let's just take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And let it all go. As you breathe out, just relax your shoulders. Take one more deep breath in. And let it all go. Continue to follow your own rhythm to breathe in and out with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is comfortable for you. As you breathe in, just imagine that you are breathing in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, Breathe out anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. Just allow yourself to feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. Let go of anything that does not support you. Let go of any tension. Let go of stress. Those definitely don't support you in this moment. So just take a few more deep breaths in. To take in, bring in more infinite possibilities. And let go of all the things that don't support you in this moment. And as you do that, start to get present to your own body and notice everything that is in your body wherever there is tension just let it go as you breathe out set the intention that you want to let go of wherever it is in your body that you feel any tension and allow your body to Get to a space of relaxation. Just by being very present to what is going on inside your body. At the same time, set the intention that you want to call back all of your own attention. All of your energies. Throughout the day, we send our attention out to work, to our home, to other people in this moment. Bring back all of your attention. Bring back all of your energies to yourself. Give yourself this moment to just be with you, your body, with all parts of you and only you in this moment. Lovingly take care of yourself in this moment.
and allow yourself to get in tune with whatever it is that's going on inside your body, inside your consciousness. And the thoughts on your mind as well. And whatever it is within you that does not support you in this moment, simply set the intention that you're ready to let go and only welcome those things that support you right here, right now. And when you find that all of your attention, your thoughts, your energy is back inside your body, back under your own control, then you can take a deep breath in again. And let go and come all the way back into the room. And welcome back, everybody. So first thing I'm going to do is to do a bit of a review. So let me share screen. Okay. So, so this is, this, these are the slides for today. I chose this picture because it's really springtime. Plus, I, I actually put the, the butterfly in. I added the butterfly in, in this picture. It originally does not have a butterfly. But I added this butterfly because it's about transformation, which is what we are here to do, to transform our energy. So, so we're going to um, right now do a review. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about um, three layers of dimen like three layers of dimensional energy that we can use for healing. The first one of it is at 13 inch. So we can activate that just by saying 13 inch activate. And at the 13 inch, that is where our subtle energy is. Uh, it's the, the light body. Our light body is an exact replica. It is an exact replica of our um, physical body. So 13 inches, I think last time I, I, I measured it, 13 inches is um, from my palm all the way down to my elbow. That's about 13 inches. So if you kind of have that idea, it's 13 inches, it's not that far away from our body. So if you all remember that, I, I think what I did try to get you all to um, feel the light body. The light body is always there. Sometimes it may be weak, so we couldn't really feel it. But if you, you know, ask to figure your hands, and really set the intention that you want to strengthen your light body. And um, your light body is being generated by the second chakra. So energy center number two, which is, um, it's around the sacral area. So when you strengthen that part of your energy field, then you can actually feel that there is a subtle body that called our light body, which is an exact replica of who we are. So it's just fairly easy to feel. If you activate your hands, you would be able to actually feel that. So, so that is the light body. The light body is the... So I'm, I'm sorry. Sure, go ahead. 
where is our sacral, we have to put move our hands and right here. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I mentioned the sacral is because the energy center too is an energy center. So your light body is being the, um, it draws energy from the sacral to make that light body. So if there is any, so for whatever reason, if your, your um, sacral area is really weak, then your light body would be very weak as well. How do you know if it's weak or not? So, um, so then just try, you know, activate your hand. See if you can feel that if there is something there around 13 inches, see if you can feel your own light body. So it's about 13 inches. Can you feel something at around 13 inches? Like I can feel that there is something sitting there. There is something there. Can you feel that there is something there? Like about 13 inches away from your body? Okay, so if that's, if you can't really feel that, then simply, um, so just breathe in. So breathe in and just intentionally set the intention that you want to strengthen your energy second. So EC2, just set that intention you want to strengthen energy center two. And after you've done that for a little bit, then try again, activate your hands, sensitize your hands and feel again. See if you can feel the light body. You feel something there now, this mm -hmm. time? Yes. Oh, great, good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So the that's the, the light body. Your light body is an exact replica of your physical body. And because it's only 13 inch away from you, so not, not too far away, it is still it's in the, the so within the fourth dimension. So it's still part of the fourth dimension. So it is it is always there. So meaning that um, even if you can't feel it, even if it's weak, but it's still there. So that is the, the, the light body. And it is the a mirror image. So meaning that it is your, so your light body is actually looking at you. So you are looking at your light body and your light body is looking at you. And um, one of the, the exercise that you can do when you have time is actually is to stand um, about 13 inches away from a wall. So usually um, a light colored wall or, or a white wall, stand about 13 inch away and see if you can see the light body instead of touching it try to see it. It may take a bit of practice. And at first you may may or may not see it, but um, just the practice is to set the intention that I want to see my light body. So keep telling yourself that. And keep practicing. And at some point you will be able to see, the, um, how do you tell? It is yellow, it's kind of like a golden yellow color. 
and you kind of see that the the um, the light body is your exact replica. So it will be like where you you may be able to see the the head and the shoulder, and it is your size. Okay, so. So now when I went or uh, stay next to the door mm -hmm. and I feel my, I see my shadow on my right side and then I made the um, intentions and I want to see my light body. All yeah. of a sudden I see my um, uh, shadow right in front of me and on a side, but it's not yellow. It's like very light gray or it's real really just shadow what is it um i am not sure um because it, it was it was on the side my shadow and okay. all of a sudden i see it in front okay okay um if you see that it is not golden then and maybe do some more um, breathing exercises just to strengthen the the color so um you can, so ideally it's yellow golden yellow color and you actually would be able to see lines of like meridian lines energy lines running through that mm. running through it Okay. So, so that's ideally. <laughs> um, it it really takes for myself. Like I I I think when we practice um doing a workshop, seeing it, and it took me I think a good hour or two before I actually can can see that you know the lines are running. So it takes some practice, and you have to ask, um, you have to tell yourself that you want to see it because your body um, your body listens to you. So keep telling your body, I want to see my light body. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so, so that is the 13 inch light body and then we also talked about at 17 inches so 17 inches is just so it's that one is in in the fifth dimension because it's beyond 16 inch which is the the gateway for fourth dimension so this is in fifth dimension 17 inch energy is um something that we can use we can we can activate for our hands so the this energy can heal it can reset dna so when you activate your hands to have 17 inches you can heal yourself if you have any body parts that is painful or something is not going right you can do that or the other um, characteristics of the 17 inch is that it actually suck energy in. That is the, the um, that's how one of the ways that it can heal. However, you don't really have to worry that you are sucking in bad energy because if you're using your palm, the your palm, your palm has a very particular um, it's really special because at the palm, it, it is a major energy um, center. And one of the, the, it is connected to your pericardium, which is the, the it is a sac, like a, a sac that, that holds your heart. And what it does is because it is connected to that meridian, so one of the special um, characteristic is that it does not take in anything that is negative. For, if there are any negative energies, what it does is it just transmutes it. 
so that when this energy, when we suck the energy in, is transmuted. So when it gets to your pericardium, um, when the energy that you sucked in go to pericardium, it will not negatively affect your own energy. So that <laughs> excuse me. So that's part of the the function of the the, the seventeen inch is you can activate your hands so you can heal and also to suck in things. And that can come in handy because the next one is really 23 inches, 23 inches. It is still within the fifth dimension. And at 23 inches, that um, energy, this layer is it's kind of something that is similar to the light body. So it's similar, and um, there is a another version of you, but this time it is the DNA blueprint frequency. So it only holds the DNA blueprint frequency. It does not hold um, other information. It's only hold the DNA blueprint frequency. So that is the, the particular of 23 inches. And um, we can actually call in. So if let's say my, my thyroid needs some um, healing because you know, I've been feeling allergies and all that and my thyroid is, so must be a little weak, weakened by all that um, allergies. So what I can do is use my hand and activate it to be 17 inch energy. And then I also activate the 23 inches. And I set the intention that I want to get the um, DNA frequencies of um, the, the DNA frequency of my thyroid. So meaning that it is the, the blueprint, it is the, the absolutely working fine blueprint version of my, the, the frequency of my thyroid. And when I put it in my hands, then what I can do is actually just put it close to my body, maybe around um, between one inch, one, less than one and a half inch from my body. So that frequency would come into my thyroid and be able to heal with the DNA blueprint. So that is uh, a very quick review of what we talked about a couple of weeks ago about the, the three frequencies. Any questions so far about those three frequencies? I have a question. Yep, sure, so, go right ahead. So you <laughs> first, you activate 17 inches, right? Yeah, you when, activate it in your palm. Right. Your palm. Yeah. Then you activate 23 inches. Yes. Like three inches activate. Uh -huh. Then you say DNA blueprint of my thyroid come into my palm. Yeah. And after that, you put it on a place where this organ located, right? Um, yes, you can. You. So there is a, so within one and a half inch of our body, there is a layer of energy. So you don't have to, put it exactly where my, look, for the thyroid, I don't have to put it exactly where my thyroid is. I just have to put it close to my body and my body would know it's intelligent enough to know where to send that energy, that frequency. Okay. okay? So yes, but you, you've got the, the procedure. So activate 17. And then uh, 23 inches and 
um, make sure you set the intention right. Meaning that, you know, you, you have to call out that, that it is your thyroid or you may want to have other body parts. If you, you have connect. fatigue, if you have fatigue, what you should do? If you're tired. There's no reason, like you just wake up and you're tired. Um, it's not really a particular part of your body. Is there a particular part of your body that you particularly feel tired? No, in general. In general? I, I wouldn't use this method then. I would use something else. So um, in general, you can probably work on um, your adrenals because usually adrenals is, mm. is the one that um, would mm, contribute to you feeling tired. Okay. Okay. So if if you feel generally tired, I would definitely work on adrenals. So specify you want if you want the left or the right or if you want both. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Vinny. You're welcome. Any other questions before I move on? No, so far so good. Okay, so now let me share screen again. Now we go on to this week then. So, so this week we are still actually still working on the 23 inches. However, um, I've learned a little bit more about the 23 inches and also how to really make this work. <laughs> So this is what I'm sharing with you this week. The first thing I want to talk about is um, 13 inches versus 23 inches. So what do I mean by that? As I mentioned that the 13 inches, the light body, it is always there. It may be a little weaker energetically. In, in that case, all you have to do is just strengthen your own energy system and your you will be able to feel the, the the light body there the 23 inches though it's a little bit more um tricky um or, or not really tricky but you know it's it takes a bit more work the 23 inches is because it is in the fifth dimension fifth dimension energy so it's more subtle the energy is this is really subtle energy so the 23 inches even though it is still a replica of you so it still has you but it only has dna frequency information in there and because it is subtle energy so you actually have to create it which means that it is not always there. If you don't think about it, it won't be there. It's only when you activate it, you think about it, then it is there. Okay? So that's one of the, the, the difference between the 13 inch and the 23 inch replica of you, the energetic, like both are energetic replica of you. However, the 13 inch is always there. The 23 inch is only there if you put intention in it. And you actually have to create it when you put intention. Because it is created, and that is why you can actually, um, if you don't specify, you create the 20, when you, when you activate the 23 inch and you create it, it will create the DNA blueprint of your current age. But because it is something that is created, you can actually create the DNA blueprint of a younger version of you. Meaning that if you want to, you know, get back to, um, let's say you want to heal your thyroid to the extent that um, 
go back to uh, be the the DNA blueprint of your thyroid when you're 20 years old or when you're 10 years old. You can do that because you are the one that's creating it. So you can actually do that. And that is a great thing because um, theoretically then we can actually, when we really work on this, we can actually start to de-age ourselves because we can get the DNA blueprint frequencies of ourselves and when we were younger and we can actually bring back those frequency and be able to use those frequencies to heal our, um, our current body so that it can get back to the age is it, that we wanted it to go back to. So <clears throat> how do we do that? It is created because that 23 inch is created. So you actually can, um, you can call on anything that has DNA. So it has to be DNA and you can um, call on it at um, any age. So when you're 13 years old or if you like yourself being like three years old, then you can do those as well. So really use your own um, judgment, which age, the DNA blueprint of yourself at which age. So figure that out. It could be when you're 12, 18, whatever age that you want. So get clear in your mind what it is that you want. And then um, just, and the other thing is you have to have strong energy. So that's why before we do the 23 inch, in order to have strong energy is um, we want to actually balance our body first, balance our own energy first before we actually do that. So we can do that by bringing in the holy fire, holy water, holy wood, like those elements. So when we call on the, the holy elements, then we start to um, get recharged. So we recharge our own energies and then also activate zero point. When we have um, our zero point being strong and all the energies are balanced and we know what it is that we want to um, how do we, which DNA that we want to create, then that's what we can do. And then the next, so that is what the next level of 23 inch questions. I have a question, of course. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go ahead. So, so when we going to bring um, DNA blueprint of younger version of ourselves, mm -hmm. we should go organ by organ, or we can, can do uh, we can go and bring like whole body. You can do whole body. You can do whole body. Yep. Nice. This is yeah. easier. Yeah, you can do whole body. You can do whole body because the, the 23 inch is, it's a, it's kind of like your light body. Like it's, um, it's a replica of you. The only thing that is different with the 23 inch is it only contains DNA blueprint frequencies. So there may be other information that it does not contain, but DNA, yes, it contains. It contains that. And you can actually create, so 
if you want to create the whole body, then set that as your intention. You want to have a um, a replica, a DNA frequency, a DNA blueprint frequency of yourself when you are at the age of 18 or whatever age you want. So set that as your intention. I remember that I was the only age when I remember when I was absolutely healthy, it was 15. It was the best. And after that, I got problem here, there. So I can ask for DNA blueprint replica of the age of 15? Yeah. Wow. It sounds like a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Now, is, um, you have to do it. Um, so you can't just do it once. You have to do it a few more times. So how many times? I don't know. It re really depends on how much healing needs to be done. A lot. Okay. Any any other questions? I know, exciting, eh? <laughs> Very much. Uh, yes. So let me actually. Um. So this is. Uh. So okay. So just to recap. So twenty three inches is create. It's really um subtle energy. So you can ask for any age. So it can be the DNA blueprint of you when you're at age like 18, 15, 13, when, whenever it is that you, you want to. Okay. So all, but it needs to, because you're creating it. So you have to give clear and concise intention in order to create. And also make sure you have a strong zero point. So that means you have to make sure that you uh, balance. Okay, so how do we do that? So this is kind of less the script. Holy element activate. So what does, so element meaning it could be water, fire, wood, or all five of them. So this, this uh, um, command may need to be repeated once for each of the elements. So, <clears throat> so holy fire, holy wood, holy water, holy metal, holy earth. I think that's five, right? Okay. So, so you may need to do all five of the elements, make sure that you are all topped up of all the different elements, because these are the elements that mix up the energies of your body. So when you are topped up with all the five elements, then you are balanced. Whatever your body needs, you give your body those. So it, your body will know how to balance itself. So once you're balanced, then activate a zero point. And then also let zero point energy connect with heart, brain, and gut. And then you have to know precisely what DNA blueprint, how you want to create the 23 inch. So know that first. And then set that intention of how you want the, the, the 23 inch replica to be created, then you just do the activate. And the next is just heal activate. So what this what the heal activate do is is actually it brings the whole 23 inch replica <clears throat> to the 13 inch light body and heals the light body. And because your light body is really the the subtle energy version of your 
physical body. So it is really healing your own body. So that is the procedure. Zero point point in in your heart, right? The zero point. Um, so if you touch. Yes. Oh, it's, it's under knees, under knees. Yeah. So, so it is. So, you, if you, <clears throat> it is. Um, so, your breast bone in the middle, you, you find the breast bone. Okay. So, you find that. And mm -hmm. then it's about one finger width down. That is the zero point. If in doubt, you just have to ask your ultimate um, power center to activate it. Remember ultimate, ultimate power center? I didn't use it for a long time. I have to use it. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can do that. <clears throat> um, so we used to have ultimate power and ultimate power supply where is uh, underneath uh, where is to, don't second to, end. but don't, don't have to do that no i mean ultimate power love connector it's right there where is zero point it's it's around there yes it's close to there so all you have to do is just activate the ultimate power and then get your ultimate power to show you where it is because mm -hmm. the ultimate power knows. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to use the ultimate power to heal yourself. You're just using it to show you where the, the zero point is. So you don't have to activate all the others. Just the ultimate power center. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so... Any other questions, comments? You know how to do it now? No. <laughs> <clears throat> I already gave you the, the script. <clears throat> Okay. Just, Can you walk us through that? Uh, okay. Yes, I'm going to do the, the meditation is to do that. However, I just want to see if there are any questions before. So let's, let's, uh, let's bring back this. So this is kind of like the script. Kind of like the script. So you do the holy fire, holy water, activate and all that. So, okay, all that. Strengthen yourself and then do zero point activate and then let zero point energy connect heart, brain and gut. Meaning just connect your whole body. Just use zero point energy to connect your whole body. Make sure you know um, what you want to do what you what you want to create because the 23 inch is has to be created so you can create it the way you want it okay and then then once you are sure you know then just create it activate it <clears throat> And heal, activate. That's just a command to just give your intention. Your intention is to use this 23-inch um, replica of yourself to heal. So it will know what to do. Okay, so that's it. So when you're saying know what DNA energy you want to create... Yeah. And you said that we have, can go to age, for example, yeah. 15. 
what should I put an intention? Just I want to have health like that age, or what should I say? So or just DNA blueprint for the entire body? You can just say that you want to have the perfect, healthy, perfectly healthy DNA blueprint when you are whatever age. Have that for your whole body. Okay, thank you. Perfectly healthy DNA. Um, DNA blueprint frequency. Replica for the entire body. Yeah. Of the age of yep. whatever. Yeah. I'm really excited. Okay, so so everybody knows what age or what you want to create. Okay, so know what age, what, <clears throat> what do you want to create at 23 inch first? And then next thing is we can, we will we'll go through the whole process. but I can't supply the, the, the intention for you. So you have to know your own intention. Okay, so. <clears throat> Any other comments before we do the meditation? No, okay. Let 